So the season, like the day, starting to get shorter as we move into March. And the three points becoming ever more vital every weekend. Bended over the top of the wall, all round it. Yeah! Oh! Sensational! Bruno Fornaroli leaves Izzo totally wrong-footed. He was utterly bamboozled by the Uruguayan. And in his 50th game in the A-League, he has goal number 39. He's protecting. The wall's doing the other job, and he's, moment, he's, he's guessing that Fornaroli's going to go for the curve. Pay steering it in behind O'Donovan. Onside this time. And should have made it 1-1. On here, look at how open the Mariners are. Fernando Brandan with Caceres alongside. Oh, own goal! Disaster for the Mariners. Oh, hell. Dear, oh dear. As they try to slip it through for Anthony Caceres, it came off a of Mariners' boots, and Melbourne City have double their advantage. And net, desperately unlucky. It's a good tackle from Poscalero. From Jake McGing. Fornaroli is going to have a go. Bounce just in front of his open. So he had a good piece here, which is going to be teed up for Fabio Ferreira. Deflected and in. And Central Coast have a lifeline. Fabio Ferreira's hits. Big deflection. But he has a goal on the occasion of his 50th Mariners game. With that big deflection, plenty of power. Ball by the City midfielder, and he's put his team under pressure. Apia across the face, on sliced in, a second own goal, same end of the ground. Ruan Tongik squares the ledger. There. Look, the pretty regulation sort of clearance back of Poscalero. And he's got past the defender, and also Galloway, and was trying to steer it into that top right hand corner, just slightly off balance. Again, he's because he's back pass a little short, but Izzo, oh, he should have made it good. Straight at Fornaroli, he must score, surely. Fornaroli dragged down by Izzo, has to be a penalty, and surely Paul Izzo has to go. Utter disaster again for the Central Coast. Fornaroli straight down the middle, City in front once again. Right decision, of course, that's a crunching challenge. It's those two players again, Kilkenny and Montgomery. Well, you can't ask for much more out of a game than that. Lots of controversy, five goals, a red card, a penalty, a couple of own goals, a warning for Paul Ocon. This had pretty much everything, but it ends in a narrow win for Melbourne City.